So here we go. It's a two-bank tandem closed cinch, also known as a box cinch. Our box cinch, we can do with or without out and back control lines. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to get a couple of swimmers over to our weak side. We've already made an assessment of our subject that they have an airway. We can't or we shouldn't go for them. Uh, and we have access to two banks. What our goal here with a tandem closed cinch is this. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to throw one line from strong to weak. Okay, It's pretty standard. But then we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to throw a second line from weak to strong. So we got two lines across the river. And they're going to be, again, both downstream of our subject. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take a carabiner from line number one. We're going to clip that on to line number two. And we're going to hold the corner like this. On the other side, we're going to take our second line. We're going to put a carabiner in there. We're going to clip it onto line number one. And again, we're going to hold the corner like this. So you can see here, we've created a large rectangle or box. Now we're going to take that box, we're going to move it upstream and place our, su oops, our subject inside the box, like this here. Okay. In a coordinated effort, so on three, the two corners, Green Hulk and Audubon guy, park ranger, are going to let go of the corners. When they let go of the corners, Spider-Man and Red Hulk are going to pull. So here we go, ready? One, two, three. As that happens, what will then result is that our box will start to constrict around, oops, around our subject. So that ultimately, our subject is in between these two lines. There are two, in fact, closed cinches, hence the name tandem closed cinch. Now, we're going to move upstream to get our lines so that this apex here is less than 90 degrees. Once that's less than 90 degrees, we can attempt to pull with the intention of popping them out, and then to move the apex over to shore, if the weak side lets rope out and this side, the strong side, holds tight, our apex will start to move over towards this side. In the event that it's not moving over well enough or fast enough, we could take an additional line and put an additional line just to control the vector here. And now, on this line here, to help move that apex over, we could also pull in. And that's going to just help keep this moving over towards this side. Once our subject gets over to shore, okay, we're now in position to take our rescuers from the weak side and make some type of pendulum to bring them back to the strong side so we can get all of our attention on our subject. That's a two bank tandem closed cinch, also known as a box cinch without control lines.